day. I will explore one of Bangkok's newest attractions, which is called the M Sphere. It's part of the M District, which includes Emporium, M Courtier, and now the M Sphere. It's a mall. It's a high-end luxury mall. It's brand new here. And uh, right here is the M Courtier, which I did a video on. One of my favorite Thailand videos that I've done. It's a top three mall, I believe, in my opinion. Top three mall in that I've been to in the world. Then there's Emporium. Over here is M Sphere, which we're gonna go check out. This is all called the M District. But here is a park that I have never been to, and I believe it's called Ben Siri. Or it's not Ben Chikiti, but it's Ben Chisiri or Ben Siri Park. And I've been to most parks here in Bangkok, but I've not been to this one. So I'm gonna start off here by checking out this park, guys. And it is just about five o'clock. The sun is setting soon. And I'm gonna hopefully get a nice meal over at the M, -sph M Sphere. If I can find one, I'm quite hungry. Looks like if you do come to this park, there are snacks that you can get here, which is a nice touch, I have to say. Really nice touch. It's like, uh, this is interesting, some sort of Thai donut. So it's told no filming their sh shop. I wonder if I can film the park. I don't know. But we'll continue. I believe they were referring to their shop, but if I do get stopped, I'll just stop filming. So let's check out this park here. Really nice vibe. And you can see a lot of people here enjoying the evening. It is a Tuesday. Pretty relaxed, chill evening here. So, yeah, my favorite park is the Ben Chikiti Park, which is, oh, near Asok, near that area. There's also the famous Lumpini Park where you can see monitor lizards. And, oh yeah, you get that Bangkok skyline there in the background. Super, super nice. Okay, I see that person taking a video. I should be okay. Um, we've got like a playground over here. And, oh yeah, there's another person filming, so should be fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy this park to start the video. It is quite hot today. 94 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius, but in English, I would say that's freaking hot. That's how we describe it in English. Uh, so, oh, super nice. Look at this. Oh yeah. And while I'm crouched down here, I will take a photo for Instagram. Feel free to follow me there. And then also, please hit subscribe. It really helps me out. Most of you are not subscribed to my channel, so I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Wow, another really nice photo opportunity there. Ah. And around, you have places to work out here. And there's the M Sphere. It looks like there's an IKEA. We'll have to check that out. Love IKEA. Got some locals here playing volleyball. Feel like they're having a good time. Oh. And I think over here is a skate park. Let's check it out. Not been on a skateboard in. Ah, I think I was in on one in Vietnam briefly <laughs> this year, but anyway. Yeah, we've got a skate park here. Huh, this is a fun little park. I think it's the smallest one, if I'm not mistaken here. Oh, here's a Bangkok Zero Waste Park as well. Let's check that out. Looks around the outside, there's a, um, like a walking path here as well, which is really cool. And here's the Bangkok Zero Waste Park. Oh, wow. I don't know if I'm allowed to uh, film here, but it's, it's like uh, recyclable waste is up here. Oh, and that's super cool. It's all um, decorated in uh, cans, like soda cans, beer cans, stuff like that. So, very nice. Okay, so on entry we have a big Shake Shack which is pretty new to Thailand from what I understand. We got some music playing here, but I think it'll be fine. We got a food court eating area. Probably be hitting that up. Oh, doesn't this look sick, guys? Oh, look at the stairways. 
Oh man, the LEDs look so sick. Alright, let's get some food. Oh, Mont Blanc, I might have to get that. Is that like a Bingsu, but in like a cup? That's kind of what it looks like. Hello? Oh, it's uh, is this matcha ice cream? Uh, matcha ice cream? Okay, okay, thank you. I will be back. Thank you. Uh, chicken rice. Maki Maki. Oh man, guys. I always have a hard time deciding in places like this. Pizza? No pizza for me today. Maybe. Oh, got like craft donuts it seems like here. Oh, don't these look good? Wow, whole wheat donut. Oh, look. Is that crab? Oh, deep fried squid. Oh, looks like deep fried seafood. Wow. It's like beef pies or something. And a chicken curry puff. Interesting. Wow, you can get food from all over the world here, guys. Oh, this looks like a... Oh, it's a gourmet deli. Another pizza spot here called Panetti Pizza. Alright, well I want to see what's upstairs. They have the uh, wood-fired oven here. To make some really good pizzas. Wow. It's good. Hello. Oh, it does look quite good, I have to say. Oh, man. Alright, it looks like we have like a uh, map of the M sphere here. So, ground is the M market. Is that where I am now? Hard to say, because there's one downstairs as well. Or are we on one? I don't know. But you've got M Market, M Market, M Gallery, M Lifestyle, M Innovation, and Ikea. Ah, and M Dining, that's what I'm looking for. I think this is still the ground floor up here. Let's see. We've got a Starbucks reserve over here as well. Wow, amazing. And then this area connects you to M Courtier, Emporium, BTS, um, and then outside as well here. So then you can go up there, and I believe that's M Lifestyle. Yeah, I think that's M Lifestyle. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, this is the M Lifestyle. Looks like something's going on here. Someone famous is here. Look at this, look at all these people taking photos. I don't know who that is. Let me know who that is, guys. Oh, famous? A oh, famous person? Yes. Really? Who is it? Do you know? Do you know who it is? Crystal Wong. Crystal Wong? Yes. Oh, okay. Is she an actress or actor? Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, thank you. Crystal Wong, I guess. Wow. All right. Well, there's that'll take you up to IKEA. I'm gonna go eat. Here we have like a sit-down place to get Thai food. I feel like that might be what I should do, right? Although Gordon Ramsay pizza, I mean, I've never even heard of that street pizza. Got hot pot here. Oh man, this is this is a really cool mall, guys. All of the M district is amazing. I recommend that you really come here, especially the M Courtier. Gourmet Christmas Wonder Square. That's what that says. What a cool picture. Oh, here's the Matcha Tokyo, which I have all the time when I am in BGC. Wow. In uh, Manila. Guys, I can't decide between the egg noodle with beef stew or the fried rice with one sunshine beef. Oh man. Oh, it's too hard to, de to decide. I don't know what one sunshine beef is. I'll have to ask him. Okay, so if you're curious, one sunshine beef is beef that has been dried by the sun. So they put the beef outside and the sun dries it. So that's what it is. Very interesting, but I actually ended up going with the uh, beef egg noodle stew, so I'm sure it'll be great. 
Oh my god, guys, look at this. It comes in a cool, like, uh, pan. Told me it's very hot. This is sour and spicy. Kind of reminds me a little bit of cow soy, but cow soy normally has a chicken leg, and it's usually very, very spicy. This is gonna be different. But look at how cool this is, man. Oh, man. You gotta come to this place. It's called uh, Co Limited. It's Thai street food right here in M Court or M Sphere. So let's give it a shot. First and foremost, I wanna try this sauce. Sour and spicy. Maybe like a tom yum. Oh yeah, that is spicy. It is really good. Ooh. Oh yeah, that is really good and spicy. Try some of these noodles first. It is so hot. So this beef just melts off. It's just like so tender. And I think there's some like shallots or onions. Let's try a little bit of everything. Veggies, beef, noodles. Do you watch my stuff? Yeah, I Zane, sure do. Zane Travel. Yeah, well, oh my gosh. You stayed at the hotel that you uh, at the Athene. Oh. So I found a better subscriber. <laughs> stayed at the Athene, which is a really good hotel. So cool. Hey, thanks so much, man. Yeah, best man. of luck to you. Oh my god, so cool. Not too many people watch my Thailand content, but it's so cool to meet a subscriber. I actually think this is the second one I've met in Thailand. Yeah, I think so. So anyway. What a really, really incredible set of malls here in the M District, guys. Wow. All right, let's keep exploring. Okay, so this is a Thai donut. Um, coconut Thai custard topping. Oh, doesn't that look good? But I think I really, really have to go with some matcha ice cream here. Probably go with the signature Mont Blanc. Looks like there is um, fillings in the cone. That's gonna be interesting. So this is actually one of the first places in Thailand that I've been to that does not accept cash. It's all card, card payment, so it's okay with me. But, um, uh, let's see what this looks like here. So you can see, it looks like there's like a station here. Hello. Thank you, Sue. Oh, you can go for it. Yeah, go for it. Is this mine? Okay. Oh, so I guess the cone filling's already in. It's so interesting how it comes out there. Wow. Kap and Kap, thank you very much. Oh, what is that? Uh, Max soybean. Soybean, okay. Oh, with the gold flake, okay, okay. All right, thank you, sir. Cop and cop. Well, look at that, guys, oh my. Let's sit down and eat this. All right, so here it is. And uh, I don't know how the angle's gonna work here, but wow. So this is expensive for Thailand, but I think it's gonna be way worth it. Uh, I just wanna get the price for you. Seven dollars, that's what I thought, yeah, seven dollars. Okay, and they gave me this, I better put myself in view, right? Uh, they gave me this spoon to eat it with. Oh my goodness. Ah, I'll go first with the, 
Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so good. It's like... Cake icing, but it's matcha ice cream. Less like ice cream and more like icing, like on a cake. And then there's like some ice cream fillings in there. Whoa, that's like a yuzu. It's like a yuzu taste. Oh my goodness. You gotta come to Mont Blanc and get this by Kyo Roll. I'm assuming Kyoto. Kyo Roll. I'm telling you, I cannot wait to go back to Japan. Okay, as you get further down in there, there's sort of like candies. This is the way it, would, it looks. Let's try it. Yeah. It's like hard rock candy. Oh. I gotta say, this is one of the most unique desserts I've ever had. Genuinely. Wow. I'm like in a state of amazement at what I just ate. That was just so incredibly good. Like, I want another one. And it's like, it's not super heavy, like it's light enough where you feel like you could eat more. Alright, let's go up here and let's discover the rest of this mall. Because this is so far less of a mall video and more of an eating video, but that's, let's be real, it's kind of how my videos are. So, yeah. I don't know, I want to see the Ikea, but at the same time, I've been to many Ikeas. I've been to the biggest Ikea in the world, which is in Manila, Philippines. But anyway, we'll probably check it out. So there's still, there's more famous people over here, it looks like. Um, we saw, I think, Christine Wang or Crystal Wang or something like that over here before. I'm sorry, I don't know the name. I don't know even American actresses and actors. I, I'm like so oblivious with that. Oh, wow. I, don't, I have no idea who's over there, but it looks super famous. Yeah, it looks like super famous. Psycho, watch company. Oh man, this is super high-end luxury, similar to M. Courtier, but different vibe, obviously. Smaller, but like, I don't know the, I think the food options here are insane. The food is like, I think better than M. Courtier, but the design of the M. Courtier malls like a top mall in the world, like no joke. Here, this is more of like a gallery feel. Cool things on, on display here. Fun fact, when I was in college, I worked at an art gallery. Little college job for some beer money, you know? But uh, anyway, speaking of beer money, you have uh, Budweiser here. Um, definitely not the world's best beer in my opinion. So I won't be drinking Budweiser. Mediums, oh I love the branding on this uh, shop. Look, the mediums, they cut it off there. Uh, I'm a former designer as well, so. Uh, look at this, this is nice. And it, of course they sell like high-end uh, art supplies here, it seems like. It's like they've got their own line of uh, art supplies. Oh, so nice. Wow. I geek out more about design than I show on camera. Typically off camera I'm geeking out on design, but anyway. Look at that. Okay, I now understand the vibe. It's not like M. Cordier, it's looking to be like a trendy space. Like an open space, trendy area that they fill with shops like this. Like, I don't even know what this is called, maybe I don't know, but it's 
it's like high, how do, how do I say? How do I say, like the medium shop, trendy, it's called Frank. I think it's supposed to be an open space with trendy shopping options. So, yeah, that's what I, that's the vibe I got. So, last few years make introvert, last few years make introvert like me wants to go out more often, I don't know. Ah, interesting. So I guess this is called Studio 7 and you can get Mac products here. See, they've got all the latest MacBook Pros here. Okay, well it should be a lot more than that, right? Yeah, it should be like that. Wow, look, VR Bear. Oh, you can do some VR games here, guys. I've never done one of these, but here are the games you can play. Wow. Oh, and there's like kind of arcade style here as well. So cool. Got some scooters here, so I can see how this is the innovation area. A lot of these products I've never seen before. I always say in my videos, the vehicles that people have are the main signifier of affluence in an area. And you can see here we have a BMW back there and some Land Rovers here. Followed by some, I don't know what this is, Electra? I'm assuming Electra, but no, Elytra? Oh, Lotus? I don't know what that is, but it looks beautiful. I'm assuming it's a uh, electric vehicle, obviously, probably local. Wow, it looks really nice. And what is that, Ferrari? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I'm not a huge car guy. This is a Maserati, though. Yeah, Ferrari. Wow. And might as well just complete the circuit here, and there's a Porsche. Uh, this would mean I've seen Ikeas in like at least three countries, maybe four. Hello, Sukumbit. Sukumbit. I don't know how much I'll show of this, but I have to see it for myself. What does a Thai Ikea look like? Okay, so starting off like any Ikea, we've got the Swedish food market here for a very, very inexpensive meal. This one you can get fried chicken in, which is sick. Hello, you're included, officially. All right, have a good one. So what else do we have here? Uh, cotton candy, soft serve, all sorts of stuff. And then over here, we've got like another eating court. I always get super distracted when that happens. It's like mixed sausages. I think you can get that in just about every uh, one of these. They look a little different. Okay. Wow. So obviously everything is in Thai and English here. Uh, and they do this intentionally so you get lost. You spend more time here, you spend more money. It's a smart, smart thing. I would do I would do the same thing if I was IKEA. And let's test one of these couches. Feeling like this is a good one to test. Oh, oh yeah. Oh that feels good. Aroy. Aroy Makmak. Kapun Naka. Is this a different one? Is this the same Swedish cafe or a different one? I don't know. Feels different. I don't know, again, I got lost. It's not hard. Like, that's the whole point, getting lost in this shop. Ah, yeah, I have no idea how to get out of here. I love how they have, like, fried chicken and spring rolls. It's nice. You can get Swedish snacks, but they're actually out of stock, temporarily closed. Uh, 
I got lost. Okay, well after getting lost for about, I'm not kidding, maybe 20 minutes, I think I finally found my way out here. So, yeah. All right, yeah, we found our way out. Crazy, crazy design, I mean smart. I'm sure many people get lost and like, oh, well, I need new kitchen utensils. Time for me to buy these cool looking Swedish forks. But yeah, it's crazy. Oh my God. Now there's a DJ going. More famous people. This is so trendy, guys. So unbelievably trendy. Wow. Too cool for school, man. I am not cool enough for this. Look at that. All right, well, let's take this cool little shortcut. And I think this will take me right to the Japanese area where I want to maybe get a drink. What do you guys think about the M Sphere, man? I think this is one of the coolest places and things to do here. Especially one of the newer things to do. And yeah, I recommend you come here. I also think that if I were to ever like make a, like settle here in Bangkok, like maybe make a base or whatever, I might do Frampong or Frampong. Because, yeah, it just feels like a really nice area. I think this takes, where does this, we'll just see where this takes us. It's like a little red carpet walkway, I don't know. Let's just go for a walk, guys. Why not? Bangkok might be one of the best cities in the world for just going on a walk. Uh, this is not where I wanted to end up, but we are currently below the BTS station, uh, track. And this just takes you right to uh, Phrom Phong, BTS, or M Courtier, one of the two. And there's the park where I started this video off at hours ago. Oh, you know what? We are good. This is actually where I wanted to go. Perfect. Perfect. There's so many famous celebrities here. Wild. So cool. So cool. Okay, so you walk down where I just walked, M Sphere. Emporium, the park where I started. There's the Emporium, doesn't it look sick? I think that was the first one. And then over here is my favorite, one of my favorite malls. I've said it a hundred times. M Courtier. So, that is the M District. What an amazing place. Whoever designed this, good on you. Good on you. Okay, so we've got like some sort of Irish pub here. Something like that. You can find all over Bangkok. I would say go to the, the local bars. Um, but over here, it's a little Japanese place, like area. And I would like to get a beer, I think. Maybe the Laughing Tiger would be a good one, but I want to sit out. Or maybe we do indeed go here, I don't know. Somewhere I could sit out, have a brew. We'll go to here. This is not Japanese, but this is where we'll go. All right, ending this night with a pint of singha. You have to, right? All right, well, thank you so much for being here. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm going to certainly be talking to you again soon. Peace.